Hi, everyone. And today I'm excited to announce the official launch of the Cloud with Django course platform. So today I'm just going to speak a little bit about it and just highlight some key parts of it and also to show you the course platform as well and how you can get started if that's of interest to you. So as you can see here, um, I am currently on the cloudwithdjango.com forward slash courses page. I will be sure to attach this link in the description below for you um, so that you can head on straight to the link with these. Okay, so as of this moment, I have 12 courses on the platform here. And as you can see, they range from Python uh, Django beginner courses to cloud computing courses, all the way to building an e-commerce store, building a subscription platform. And as you can see, there is a variety. So it's everything to do with, of course, cloud computing and Django. So you can see there's quite a variety here. Now, if you would like to read more about a specific course, all you need to do is click on that course and it's going to provide you with more information on the course in terms of the requirements and of course the course description, curriculum, what to expect and what not. Now each course costs $9.99 okay and that will be a one-time fee to purchase any course on the platform. However if you would like to unlock all of the courses here you can simply say unlock all courses and there are two plans available here. There is a flexible monthly and yearly subscription plan, and you'll have unlimited access to all of my current courses and any new courses that I upload in the future. So if you're currently subscribed, you will get um, access to new courses as well in your subscription. With over at least 100 hours of on-demand video, that's currently what I have now. And as you can see here, there will be over 1,200 lectures, learning materials, documents, source code, and the lot. So you can either choose a monthly course subscription for $9.99 to unlock all the courses, or you can choose a yearly subscription as well. Okay. Now, if you decide that that's not really um, your thing, it's uh, quite all right. What you can also do is you can just buy a course straight out of um, hand as a one-time purchase. You can just select a particular course and you can just go on ahead and buy it straight as is. Okay, so there are multiple options that are available for you. Now, if this is your first time purchasing a course on the platform, so let's say um, you decide to um, choose the subscription option and you say monthly course subscription and you want to unlock all of the courses, it's of course going to take you to another page where you can go on ahead and purchase the course. So you would enter in your email for a name and you can either choose if you want to pay by card, Visa or MasterCard, which is of course handled by Stripe, or you can go on ahead and use PayPal and complete your purchase. Now, after you've completed your purchase of whatever you've decided to purchase, you'll be redirected to the Cloud with Django course platform. And this is what I'm going to show you next. So let's go ahead and see just that. So assuming you've just completed your purchase, you're going to be redirected to the Cloud with Django course platform at courses.cloudwithdjango.com and I will show you the next set of steps. Right, so after you've purchased a course, you're going to be prompted to create an account um, at courses.cloudwithdjango.com. So that is a subdomain of cloudwithdjango.com. This is the platform where all the courses will be um, available to you. And at the end, you'll be redirected to courses.cloudofdjango.com forward slash library. So it will all be in set for you and easy to follow the process. And here is where you're going to see all of the courses that you're enrolled in from your library. So if you chose the subscription option, you'll see all of the courses available on the platform itself. And if you decided to purchase um, just one course, um, you will just see those uh, particular courses. So as we scroll down now, we can see the courses that I'm currently enrolled in my library. So I can see I'm enrolled to Python Django Ultimate Beginners course, the Builder Subscription Platform course, and the Django Admin Mastery course as well. So you can also see here the progress bar. So I can see the green uh, progress bar to show how much I have completed so far of this course. So I've already started on everything. So what you can do is you can just say go to course. Okay, and that's gonna take you to the course and show your course completion. So at the moment I have 2% uh, course completion. I can resume the course and then it's gonna take me to where I last left off in the course itself. I can also see the um, lectures slash lessons here on the left hand side of the following course that I'm on. And this is the dashboard for said course. 
So I can see here under the sections of various um, lessons available, which I can of course click on if I want to go to a particular uh, lesson. So let's say I want to click on, um, let's say, um, set your custom user model in your settings. I'm going to choose a particular uh, lecture. I can see here it is displayed on the right hand side, the video itself. And on the left, you will of course see um, all of the sections and the lessons and of course i'm just going to mute this for now so you can see here it just continues the course and i've also ensured that the quality is set to a thousand and atp so to ensure that we have the max quality available to us as we are learning through the platform you can also of course um go in full screen mode to also see it for clarity too so you can decide what is on your preference as well okay so we've got that in place and we can also see, we, if we scroll down, we can also see that particular um, lecture that we're currently within. You can also bookmark your lessons or lectures as well. Okay, that's gonna be very helpful. As you can see here for course overview, I added a bookmark here just to make sure that I can return to that if I um, so desire. You can also, um, of course, say complete lesson. So that's gonna complete the lesson for you and you can go to the next lesson as you so desire. If you finish um, each lesson, it's automatically going to come up with a prompt saying that you've completed the lesson and that you can continue to the next one. So for example here, I'm just going to move to the end and there we go. It's gonna take me to the next lesson after this one that I have um, here set and it's gonna take me to the next one as well. Okay, so that is how the um, course platform is functioning and how it's in place. Now, as for the rest of the details, so some lectures aren't just going to be video, they're going to be text as well. So, but there's only a few of these. So here we can see we have a lecture on deployment cost guidance here, and we can see some information here in a article format. So this isn't a video lecture, and you can see it's demarked by an icon here that of course is showing it's a text-based lesson, unlike the others, which are videos. And as you scroll down, we can see here we have this icon, which is a, um, how can I say, a pointing uh, finger and a link here and this is going to indicate all the links on the platform and I would recommend you check this under each um, lecture just to make sure there aren't any um, links that's, that supplements you could say or complement the course itself and all of these are going to open in a new tab and then of course you'll just see the information pertaining to that lecture in a new tab itself. Okay, now let's take a look here, for example, at a, another lecture, let's see what we have here. So we, for example, have a sign up for a PayPal account video lecture. And if I scroll down here, you can see here that all the links that will be um, referenced in the video will be available down here. You can just scroll down and click on that link and it's always gonna open in a new tab for you where you can just go ahead and continue with the lecture. So this is how you'll access any links or external resources that are available to you. Now, let's say for example, that you are working with uh, other documents which can be downloaded. So I'm just going to look here, for example, at the SMTP configuration lecture. And if I were to scroll down here, you can see for downloads, um, you'll see it will be appear below the lecture where you can just click on downloads and click on that and then it's going to download for you. So that's how easily you can also download resources and this goes for um, project source code and anything of the like as well. You would just scroll down and look for downloads and then click on that. All right. All right, guys, so that is the whole interface of the platform here. And you can see you can just return to the dashboard, which means your courses dashboard itself. And that is right here. And that is how you can just navigate. It's quite simple and straight to the point. And you can click on library to go to your library, which shows all of the courses that you're currently enrolled within. And we can just resume the course on the last lecture that we were currently viewing. And it will take you straight back to that. Um, so you can continue with your learning. Right, now once you're done, um, what you can do is you can just click on your profile here. Um, you can also click on the library that will take you straight here to where you are at courses.cloudofjango.com forward slash library. You can also manage your settings here as well. So all of your profile settings and everything that you've set up for your account. And you can also log out as well. So if we were to say log out, it's gonna take us to the course um, log out page. Now, if you want to continue with your course again, you can just simply enter in the email that you registered with to create your account and the password that you also set up for your account and you can log in and that's gonna take you straight 
to your library again. Now, of course, this page is at courses.crowdofdjango.com forward slash login. And I'd recommend that you bookmark this if you're interested in the platform. And something I also want to mention is this page is also available on the Cloud of Django website. So you can click on course login and that's also going to take you to the following page. So just to simplify the process for you as well is you can also visit cloudofdjango.com and click on course login. And that's going to take you to the subdomain of courses.cloudwithdjango.com login. And here you can just simply go ahead and enter in your credentials and log into your account. So you can just um, add them in, log in, and that's going to take you straight back to uh, the library where you can just continue with your courses and the like. Right guys, so that's it for this video. So I just wanted to give you an overview as to how the platform works and how the process is unfolded in the whole um, idea of it. So that's all I wanted to mention, guys. So I'm very excited about this launch of this uh, platform for Cloud with Django. Um, of course, thank you always for all of the support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. And thank you as always. And goodbye.